over 13,000 uh, workers, mostly part-time canvassers, work to help collect voter registrations in neighborhoods uh, in 21 states around the country. Uh, the, the vast, vast majority were dedicated workers who did a great job. They worked in the hot sun, they worked in the rain, and they uh, did something remarkable in bringing all these new voters um, and saw a lot of enthusiasm, uh, greater enthusiasm than we've ever seen before um, in our communities for getting involved in voting this year. A separate staff of quality control workers working for ACORN then called uh, wherever possible, the phone numbers on each of these cards to verify the information and the validity of each card. We made up to three attempts to reach each voter before turning the cards in. Uh, and after doing that, we put the cards in three piles, ones that were verified or appeared to be valid, cards that were missing some information, um, but that might still result in a registered voter if the Board of Elections or elections officials could obtain that missing information and cards that were problematic, either because we already knew they were a duplicate or they were suspicious, um, looked like they could be fake uh, or that we discovered were fake for some reason. And then, by state law or good legal advice, we were required to turn all of those cards, including the problematic pile of cards in, to boards of elections on a regular basis, week by week, um, in states across the country. Uh, and so because the cards that our quality control program identified as problematic were such, we put a note on top of them that said these are the problematic cards. Any time, and it's a relatively hand, hand, handful of times out of many dedicated workers, uh, but out of 13,000 workers, there were inevitably a few who decided they tried to pad their hours uh, by duplicating a card and filling out another one or making up a name. Uh, if we discovered this, uh, and through our, our calls or looking at the cards, we not only turn that information over, but turn the information that we had about that former employee, because they'd been fired by that point, to uh, elections officials and ask for their help in prosecuting that person. Uh, it's now many of those problematic card packages uh, that have a note on top of them that said, these are the problematic cards as opposed to this larger stack, which is the good one that we're now hearing about and hearing distorted in uh, many partisan attacks. Um, the upshot of which is to, uh, of the attacks, is to try to cast aspersions um, on or inhibit the remarkable turnout and the remarkable interest um, in hundreds of thousands and millions of Americans who are looking to vote for the first time this year. 